and it is just about hunting season so it is time to do some hunting videos so what I wanted to do very simple video today it's probably gonna be my last video for a while because I'm, I'm gonna be in the, in the mountains while you're watching this but I wanted to go through my pack that I'm taking to Colorado to go elk hunting and fishing and basically living off of my back for about a week what I wanted to do is unbox this and then weigh it. Uh, I don't even know how much it weighs yet. Uh, so I'll unpack it, show you guys everything, we'll weigh it, and then we're, we're gonna hit the road and start heading into the Mondanias. 105 today, high humidity. I'm, I'm ready to get in some thinner air. So this is a new pack. Uh, I've never run one of these before. This is a XO. The guys that I'm gonna go hunting with, born and raised, if, if you're interested in learning about elk hunting, western style hunting, uh, they're, they're really some of the best, quite honestly. And they saw my uh, Colorado videos last year and they realized I needed some help. So they were really nice um, and they offered to basically give me a learning lesson in elk hunting. So that's what I'm going to be doing with those guys and hopefully getting my first elk. But uh, they run EXO packs and they sent me one. So I um, want to say thanks to EXO and Born and Rays for sending this. I have my, my bigger Kuyu pack, my Icon, basically the, the biggest one they make. That's what I use in New Zealand. And then this one is kind of like a mid-size pack. This is a 3600, I believe, but it's a, it's a little small for uh, basically a five, a five day trip. This one's just a little bit bigger and I'll leave a link down there if you guys want to check out their packs. Um, they're a little bit different supposedly with their frames. Than what I'm used to with the QU packs being a little stiffer, uh, but it feels pretty good. I've already hiked around with it and gotten used to it. So first thing on the back of the pack is a new fishing rod that I got, uh, a fly rod. It's a six piece, so it breaks down. There's going to be uh, mountain lakes where we're going. So not only for food, but also for fun, we're going to be taking a, a little fly rod. It'd be really hard to get a conventional rod in here with a reel. It's so packed down, so I'm just going with fly. Plus, September, grasshopper season, fish are going to be chomping on top on the flies. I found this pack doesn't really fit an analogy in that great in these, the way I've got it packed up. It's just stuffed, so I'm just running one of these, uh, I'm running one of these brand new, you know, 2020 smart water bottles. You pick those up anywhere on earth. The threads on that fit uh, fit well with this water filtration system. This is uh, this is a Sawyer. I've never used one of these before. Uh, when I was backpacking in New Zealand, you could literally just drink the water. And but other trips in Colorado, I've I've just always carried my my water up there and come down. So this is gonna be an extended trip where we have to get water. So filtering using a bag and this bottle. So those match up really well. Something I do like about this pack too is it has these little outside pockets. They're separated up. There's uh, two on this side. There's one big one on the other side. You can actually put a, a whole tent on the other side if you wanted to. The other thing in this pocket is my cook kit. I switched up my cook kit. I was using a, uh, a burner that had a hose on it where I could move it around. Um, I'm trying to go as loud as possible here this year. So this is literally my stove. This is the tiniest little stove I can find. I've got a lighter. I gotta make sure I keep all this together. This is literally the stove. It is so tiny I and mean, it weighs nothing. Uh, I've already tried it out, it works great. I have another cook kit that I, at my truck, so when I'm just hanging out the truck, I can use the Coleman or whatever. And in the past, I've used, a, I think it's a 500 milliliter titanium cup, or maybe it's 450. Wasn't quite big enough to get uh, enough water in some of the mountain house meals, so I went to this one. It's 750, and it fits your, uh, your gas in there, your fuel. Uh, one of the small tanks, which should be good for 
three or four days at least. So that fits inside of there. We put our stove on top of that, cap it up, and it's all ready to go. Mostly gonna be eating dehydrated meals morning and at night and then midday. Probably hunting hard and just snacking. Just doing a little snacking up there. Outside pocket of the pack, we have a puffy jacket. So I'm taking a light puffy. It's gonna be down in the 30s at times where we're going. And uh, this is a synthetic puffy. I have another one that actually has the down, but this one's just way lighter. You literally stuff it in a, a small pocket. It works out really well. This is that big pocket I was telling you about. And in there, we have our rain gear. So for you, uh, rain gear, this is the Chugach. Chugach, I think that's how you say it. Uh, this, I probably need a new set of rain gear. My stuff actually ripped in New Zealand. Going down the mountain, nearly died. But expect a few rips when you're doing some crazy stuff like that. Not even in the pack, fully stuffed just at the top right here. I have um, another jacket. This is kind of like a, a mid-weight uh, water resistant jacket. This is the Axis Hybrid. So this is probably what I'll be hunting in the most. It's really comfortable. I really like drawing in this jacket. I've hunted in it a lot. The Puffy's more for just if we're sitting down and it gets cold or at night if I get really cold. Then we can actually open up the pack. Get into the goods on the inside. In this top pocket right here, this is like the accessory pouches. And I'll be carrying a mini toothbrush. Funny story about this toothbrush, I didn't know it converted into a full size handle until about six months ago. I was uh, staying with some of the Guggen guys. I think it was Rob that pointed out. I was brushing my teeth like this. And uh, I was like, man, it's kind of difficult. And he was like, well, all you gotta do is just stick that in there, and then you got a full handle there, bud. And I was like, yeah, just one of those moments. Then we have a uh, little archetype lighter. Never used one of these, but I've tested it out. Um, it works good for lighting the stove. Got some toothpaste, obviously. I've got um, some electrical tape, just in case something rips on the pack. And then I'm carrying a new knife. I haven't used, I haven't skint anything with this yet, or fill dressed anything. This is a Benchmade hunting knife. I really don't like folding knives, but this one is so light and Benchmade makes really good folders. And then it's, I mainly got it for the steel. It's S30V steel, which holds an edge much longer than like 1095 and a lot of the other knives that I have. So I wanna try that steel out this year and hopefully get through an entire animal before having to sharpen it. And you know what, I'm just gonna lay this stuff out I'm just gonna do the whole, you know, Instagram photo setup here. Got our long spork for the mountain house meals. Got some face paint just in case I feel like going into warrior mode. Uh, toilet paper. Now, if you guys don't know what the toilet paper's for, you just don't even need to go up there. Then I have a small little med kit, uh, Neosporin. I find every time I go hunting, camping, fishing, even when I go on long fishing trips, I always take Neosporin because I get nicks and cuts in my fingers. And if you're away from like being able to take showers and wash your hands quite a bit, this stuff is awesome because you know you get a little hook in your hand or cut yourself with your knife a little bit or you're just digging around and stuff, you get those little uh, openings. Those things get infected and it's gonna be a bad trip. You're gonna have to come down off the mountain or something. So I've also got some vitamin C, you know, stuff like that. This is my wool inside of here. I'm not gonna take it out, but this is what I'm gonna sleep in. I've got, um, you know, basically long johns and socks, like loose fitting wool socks. Uh, I have found that loose fitting wool socks can, they just save your feet. When it's really cold, you're sleeping inside of a sleeping bag, out in the elements. Um, so. That is in there. That's basically what I'm sleeping in. Then we have our hunting clothes. So inside of here, we've got a pair of pants. We've got a, um, a basically a wool shirt. It's camouflage. Um, two pairs of socks. Two pairs of undies. Pillow. So you wake up feeling good, ready for the day. All of our food inside of here for pretty much four days. So that is eight mountain houses. I really like taking um, these honey stinger wafers. I take these on tons of outdoor trips, fishing, hunting, just regular camping, with that Justin's Almond Butter in those individual packets. That right there is just a 
tasty combo. Gives you a ton of energy, it's got good sugar in it. Keeps you going, and um, I'm allergic to peanut butter, so I can't have that, so those little almond butter things are clutch, and they just give you a good protein and sustain you for a while. You know, little snack bars, things of that nature. Also got some jerky from Bucky's. Gotta load up on that. Tint, the tent I've been camping with for a few years now. Absolutely love it, it's a little big, but I don't mind the extra weight, quite honestly. Um, this is the QU Mountain Star 2-man. Really easy, fast to set up, and uh, it's just durable. Really like it. What I might end up doing is, um, a buddy of mine, we might use this tent together. He might, we, I might trade some of this off because um, I think he's just bringing like a tarp or something like that. Maybe we keep our gear in there just to kind of cut down on weight. But if it comes to it, I mean, I'll kick him out if he snores, whatever. Sleeping bag. Um, who makes this sleeping bag? Sierra Designs. I think this is the cloud. Uh, it's a 20 degree. This bag is really light. Uh, I love it. I mean, it even compresses tighter than this. This thing is a very, very warm bag and it compresses down super light. It's awesome. Love this sleeping bag. And to rest our achy back, we have the Thermarest Pro Light Apex. So it's a pound, six ounces. This actually slides into my sleeping bag. It has like a sleeve. So you blow it up, it goes in there, and it's pretty good. I definitely like foam pads better, but this is just more compact. We got our platypus bag. I um, really like these bags, they're super light. And quite honestly, you should just get some of these bags for just, I don't backpacking around. They're awesome. Um, you know, they can rip, so I'd be careful where you're putting, what compartment you're putting them into. But when you need to gather a lot of water, uh, this is very, I mean, this is two liters right here. You can fill this up two liters. Uh, if you're in you know, a really quick situation, you just need some, you gotta filter it later, put it in here, or put your clean water in here, whatever. But it just takes up way less space than your typical Nalgene or water bottle. But I do like the water bottle, ha having it on the outside, it's a little quicker. The back's a little cumbersome, but I do like having one in there. So you gotta stock up on water, you got it right there. Very top hatch. Got a little tiny flashlight. Got a headlamp. Using a pretty small headlamp. Um, this one's made by Black Diamond. This is the spot. Got some light wool gloves. We've got a beanie, face covering, just really light stuff. And then in the other hatch, I've got an insulated snap shirt. This is probably the best clothing item I've ever purchased in my life. Uh, this is the insulated snap shirt, literally that's what it's called, from Kuyu. This thing is incredibly light, you can put it in your pocket and it warms you up tremendously. It's great for, you know, in the 40s, uh, get up in like the 60s, you start getting a little warm, just unsnap it, you're good to go. But quite honestly, I have one like in a standard regular color that I wear all the time when I'm not even hunting, they're so comfortable. Okay, we'll leave that out for the grand pick. And just a couple more things. Probably one of the most important tools you can have is uh, one of these Garmin Delormes. This is a GPS Map 66i. Um, I've had just the standard inReach. I got this one because you can see the map on it. Um, and Onyx, you can load an Onyx chip on here. But this can connect to your phone. You can text the wife, which is probably the most important tool you can have. You can tell her you're not dead, uh, tell your friends and loved ones you just, you know, killed a big elk, or hey, I just lost my leg to a bear. Hopefully it's the first situation. You got a reel in here, small fly reel. Um, yeah, I don't know much about it, but fly fishing is something new to me. I, I really like doing it. It is, uh, I like doing it around, you know, fish that haven't seen flies much like these mountain fish. So I've got that set up and I have a small little tackle tray of flies. I'll get into all this stuff when we we start fishing and all that, but mainly just hoppers, um, you know, dry flies and a couple of uh, sinking flies. So 
hopefully that's going to get her done. We'll just give it a dangle in the woods if the elk is a little slow. So that is basically everything in my pack. The pack feels really good. I've already cinched it down. It's fitted to my body. It's you know fully adjustable and all that. I like the way it sits on my hips or it's, it's just hugging. It's hugging just below my love handles and I'm liking the way it feels. feel good about it, but we'll see when we, uh, you know, put 150 pounds of elk meat or something in there, how it does. All right, she's ready to go back. Woo! Good thing it's stuffed. But it honestly doesn't feel too heavy. Let's go see what it weighs. Y'all know we got a fishing scale laying around. Goes up to 50 pounds. I don't even know if this pack's gonna break 40. Just into, in comparison, my, my New Zealand pack was 55 pounds, I think. That was for uh, a longer excursion. Let's see what this one is. Oh yeah. Looking like we're coming in light. Ladies and gentlemen, can you see that? I can't even see that. Just under 32 pounds, y'all, that is awesome. I was hoping that it would be under 40. We are way under. The only thing I'm missing in weight really is probably just water, adding water to that, and camera stuff, which I'm not gonna carry that much because I'm gonna be filming with Born and Raised. Uh, they've got their own camera guy. And then I'm, I'm bringing a buddy of mine, the guy I went to New Zealand, Zealand with, John Thomas Earl Larkin, and I might have him carry some, uh, a few little camera things, but I'm just going to carry like a GoPro and a few batteries and not weigh this thing down. In the past, I've carried my big lenses and everything, and it, it adds up being about five pounds to that, and I just don't have that much more room in here to add anything else. So, feel good about it, y'all. Now you want to see it loaded down, the old Chevy. She's loaded. Got her loader down and we're ready to go. Chickens, I will see you. I'll see you in like three weeks. So we're gonna be living out of uh, this backpack for about seven or eight days and then the truck. The truck is basically camp and we're loaded down for uh, family camping. Hopefully we're gonna have a giant cooler in here as well at the end of this thing full of elk meat. I'm gonna drop this pack off. And just to give you guys a brief unboxing, if you will, of what we have here, I've got my bow in a case. In the very back, we've got the heaviest items. Uh, that's tents, cots, family camping type stuff. Um, got diesel in there, I know it's red can, I know. Full tank of propane. I've got um, just camp accessories. I've even got boot dryer stuff like that all the kitchen uh camp kitchen type stuff is in there and then up top we've got sleeping pads sleeping bags uh anything from diapers trash bags extra clothes blankets all that type stuff and then just inside the cab we have a suit some i, I got two buddies that are getting married during elk season what are you guys doing come on so i'm going to those weddings while i'm up there i've got another backpack in here for uh, fishing and hiking and whatnot. I've got uh, I've got hunting clothes in here. I've got um, just regular camp clothes. I've got two battery cells. I've got a pillow and three dangle poles. Add a camera bag with that, with DSLRs, drones, GoPros, all that stuff. And we are loaded down to the max. Oh, and a cooler and my Dometic, which is also loaded down right now. That's my next thing I gotta pack. And the rest of my day is gonna consist of driving. I've gotta find somewhere to sleep tonight. I gotta figure out a town, I gotta do something. <sighs> Y'all ready to hit the road? I'm ready to hit the road. I'm sweating bullets out here. It's a thousand percent humidity, 98 degrees at, you know, nine o'clock in the morning here in Texas. Let's get up to some thinner air. Bounded down, loaded down, trucking. All these months preparing for this. Actually, our first stop before we even head out into the woods and go hunting is we're heading to the water. We go meet up with a good buddy of mine. Um, I know him as Jared. You guys know him as Outlaw. 
and we're going to be doing some fishing, just kind of hanging around camp and whatnot. So I've heard there's lake trout, there's pike, there's all sorts of other trout species. Basically, the halfway point between Dallas and up there in Colorado, where we're going, is Amarillo, Texas. And it is officially time to break out the straw hat. Oh man, that just feels good. So I'm gonna leave it right here and we will pick it up in the actual outdoors. We've been preparing for it this whole time. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's unboxing of the pack and all other gear. Uh, if, I forgot, if I forgot something, let me know. But it's too late now. And we are at 3,000 feet. Air is getting thinner. It's already cooled off a ton. I cannot wait, y'all. So stay tuned so you don't miss a single day up here in the Montañas, fishing, hunting, camping, and absolutely loving every day. We'll see you on the next one.